Right, I don't even know if I've videoed with this yet. I don't think it turned out. I'm having lots of trouble with Kodak. It won't even close. The charger's stuck. So I've given up with it. But we've done the important thing, which is the first three quarters of the walk. That's the most important thing. And I've got this little Sony, which we can do videos. I've already taken a lot of pictures of the house before it went funny, this. I've got no idea why it's done it. I'm just going to unplug the wire for a minute. What I might try is the other lead in a minute. The um, cameras seem to be very fussy about the type of lead they have. And uh, this one's stuck on open. And it just won't won't shut. I can't get it to do anything at the moment. But like I said, we've done the important part, which was across all the fields. It's only just stopped up until I stopped here. It just wouldn't do it anymore. And I got a feeling it wasn't working in other times when I thought it was working. I just swallowed a hair a bit of hair, it broke off in a bit of cake I was eating. It was mine, the wind blew it into the cake and I, I felt it and I started to pull on it. It was attached to my head, the hair, but something broke off and I can sort of feel it and feel it tickle in the back of my throat. So I don't know if that's going to do any damage or whatever. As long as I don't inhale it, I suppose, but it could get all knotted up. I don't know. Right, so we're coming up to the little house on the prairie, I always call it. A lovely little house there. You've got to be a certain sort of person to want to live there, haven't you? People, and there are lots of people that like living totally remote. And they're not scared. I think I wouldn't mind it, but I think I'd be a bit worried about who's creeping about at night. Some lovely views though. But like I say, with this camera, I can't see nothing. I can't see nothing with this camera. This one's playing up as well. I bought a new camera. But what happened was it just didn't last very long. It still works, but it's wobbly, got a wobbly lens. Something fell out like a bit of plastic. A round circular bit of plastic fell out. Which probably kept it stable. It fell out when I was on a walk. I didn't know what it was, first of all. Then after that, the lens started to wobble. It was still doing good photos, actually. I don't know if it would work if I had to hold the lens still all the time. Like I said, it's uh, 2022 since I've been out here. It's 2024 now. Look at the scene. I've taken quite a lot of photos, so that's one good thing. I've really in this pretty barrow straight ahead of me. Straight lined up in the distance is pretty barrows. I'm due a visit to them. Which can happen, which can happen. When I get over the stile, I'm going to check and see if there's any cows. Then I'm going to check if there's any, any cows, yeah. Then I'm going to check my clock. remember always remember this of course it's memories of the cows chasing me those early days of coming here where I had to learn fast right over there zoom in a bit on the hill right over there is the aerials 
that we pass when we go to Velvet Bottom. Here else. Look at this lovely wide space. Imagine just living up here though. How lovely. Isn't it? Lovely, isn't it? There's the shed up there. The World War II shed. And these are all the... All this land here is all to do with the ancient peoples that lived up here. And their burial mounds. All over there where the sheep are. I've walked all the way up, all the way up through there. I'm hoping to do it again on shorter walks. This is one of my bigger ones, but not the biggest. Now I think what I've decided to do, because I've come this way on the shorter walk, which is still quite big. I thought I might, when I do the cheddar, I'm going to do cheddar to wells walk. Which I will partly include some of that there. Now what do you reckon? Do you reckon there's cows in here? Looks pretty mucky, doesn't it? Put the camera up there while we get over. Let's take this off because it ain't working properly. Oh, That's decided to stay stuck. So I'm going to put it away. Because it's getting in my way anyway. I'm going to put that in here out of the way. Don't want it swinging around my neck. I had thought about trying the other lead, hadn't you? What about that? Weren't you going to try that first? Wait a minute. Get that one out. Put that lead away. This is bloody... This won't... Um, it's got stuck somehow. So... I don't know what's happening with this one. It's certainly not working, but I'm just going to plug it in and leave it in my bag. It's not doing anything. It's stuck. So we've done a lot of other stuff. Uh, we've done um, Draycott Slights not long ago. The important bit is the bit I did. I don't know if there's any cows in there. Don't know. I hope not. There's a gate just up there we can get in if necessary. Right, this is Sheila. 12th of September. Oh, 12th of September. 12th of February. Look, those are people have used this. So it's warm. 12th of February 2024. The first time I've been over here for a while. Now we're going to try and get up there. We'll see if there's any cows about. We might have to get in that field there through a gate. Just got to walk around this slurge a minute. So I just got my boots more or less clean. Yeah, there's that. that looks pretty fresh, doesn't it? Look. See that? Well, I don't know where they are. I don't know where they are. they would probably get into that other field. They must be in here. Fresh, fresh cow pack. See? There's a gate there. We'll see. If they aren't in this field, we won't have to go in that other one. But I think they're going to be in one of them. If it gets really bad, we just climb over the gate there and go down the... Why don't you do that anyway? Really? Yeah. Why don't you go down the... You've done that before.